everyone, it's Autumn. Today I wanted to do a video where I venture out and wear a little bit of purple eyeshadow. I've always been told that purple is my color, but I never like to wear purple. It's not one of those colors that I actually gravitate towards. It's like being one of those colors that I absolutely love. Um, but I did get this pencil from Beauty Pie. Well, I, I bought it, but I got this pencil from Beauty Pie. I have tons of swatches on my hands from the video, but I thought that this would be perfect for a spring look and I've been waiting to use it um, for something just like this. When they came out with this pencil, it was like in the fall and I'm not quite sure what they were thinking there, but I think this is perfect for spring. Also, um, I think I mentioned in the video also, but I'll mention here, Nude Sticks just came out with a collection with similar colors to this and um, you can definitely recreate this look with something from Nude Sticks as well if you're not a Beauty Pie member. So with all of that being said, I hope you enjoy the video and if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I need to put my hair up or just get some of it out of my face. Um, the one time that I actually make my hair look decent for a video, I'll probably end up ruining it by putting it up. So I have recently moisturized, but I do want to do a little bit of extra face prep just so I can ensure that my makeup goes on smoothly. And so I guess I could have showed you what I used. This is the Glossier Bubble Wrap and you can use this on the eyes and the lips. It's just a plumping cream. And I like to put this on under where I put my concealer and corrector. I don't find that it does a whole lot for my lips, so I don't use it on the lips a whole lot. I'll put some on now, but I just don't find it super moisturizing. Like it's okay, but there are like a thousand other things that I feel like do a better job on the lips. All right, so I'm also gonna spray my face a little bit with this Collagen Soothing Mist. Um, I picked it up at TJ Maxx. It's a brand called Esfolio, and I think it might be, yeah, it's a Korean brand, and I find that I actually have liked a lot of the products that I've picked up from TJ Maxx from this brand. And then I'm gonna go in um, with my face still a little bit damp with a little bit of Embryo Lease, and like literally just that much, so not a ton, but I want my face to be really moisturized. So I'm gonna like take it down my neck. Um, see how red my face gets when I touch it? I'm taking it down my neck just because like, obviously your neck is the first place that ages and I'm always like looking down at my phone and I already have like this line on my neck because of, you know, my neck fat and it like bending and like doing all that. And then I got this ad, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I got this ad the other day on my phone telling me that like, I don't need like plastic surgery on my neck. All I have to do are like neck exercises. And it suggested that like, let me show you this ridiculous neck, neck exercise. That I go like this and then go, and that's like supposed to help. I kid you not though. I'll like believe anything. Like you'll see me in the line, like going to pick up my daughter from school, like tilting my head back, wait, waiting in the pickup line. Like. Also, I have a drink with me. Um, this is one of those, um, I forget what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. But it just has like, it's like an emergency. It's got like matcha, but it's like for energy. I didn't think this through. You need to see how big of a mess I have right here. Hold on, this is desk cam. So right here, like my office is a mess. So right here we have um, the stuff in this package that I am waiting to do a haul on. Perfumes right here in this tray that I'm getting ready to do a video about. Allure Beauty Boxes that I need to do a video about. And then we have this area where I get ready and it's all laying here and that's what I'm digging through right now. All right, so I want the look to be glowy and I'm going to mix two products together. The first product is gonna be this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and the other product is gonna be this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid and this is in pearl and I'm just gonna like pump a little bit out onto the back of my hand that's pearl and then that is the Lumi Glotion and then it's gonna look like this kind of like soft pink like that and then I'm just gonna put it all over my face 
for the most part. I usually avoid this area right here just because if I put too much glow there, it looks um, kind of sweaty and ridiculous and then I have to powder quite a bit to get rid of that. But all the high points of my face are fair game. Because um, I feel like if you glow all over your face, it's beautiful until like you have a glowy upper lip and then I don't know. That's just like w the one area that it's not flattering is to have a sweaty upper lip. And I'm going to put a little bit more water on my sponge here. I'm just using this Aven thermal water. I mean, I could go to a sink, but I'm lazy. All right. And then the foundation I want to use today is by Misha. I recently uh, picked this up through Amazon because I realized that I used to be obsessed with cushion foundations and then all of mine went bad. And cushion foundations were all the rage a couple of years ago and like now nobody has a cushion foundation. So I found this one on Amazon and I've used it a couple times and I do like it. So I'm just going to get a little bit here on my pad and then go all over my face. So I only went into the foundation one time and I feel like there's so much coverage on my face and it looks ridiculous. I am gonna go through with my beauty blender and just kind of like bounce that on over it and see if it kind of like picks it up or just kind of works it into the skin a little bit more so it looks a little bit more natural. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my eye corrector. So what I like to do is I like to first go in and correct my eyes with this Tarte CC under eye corrector um, and I just get a little bit here on this Sonia Kashuk um, it's a number 122 I don't know if they still make this I believe it was supposed to be an eyeliner brush but I actually use this for pinpoint concealing and I actually go in right here where you see the blue and I just kind of put it in the blue areas of the eye and then I blend it out with my ring finger. And then I like to brighten the area and I go in with, and they call this a corrector also, which I guess technically it is because it's pink. But I find that the orange is really good for canceling out the blue and then the pink is good for brightening the area. So I go in, this is the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius. And I go in with the same brush and I put it right here over where I just corrected. And then I also put it on the outside, like, I don't know if you guys kind of get dark there too, but I just put it right there on the outside. And again, with the ring finger, I just kind of go in and I tap that in. Then with a the beauty blender, again, it's not super wet, but I do want to go in and kind of tap out and pick up any extra product just so I don't get any creasing in that area. And then I also kind of just drag it over my eyelid to prevent any creasing there where some foundation may have gone. And then I'm gonna use this today. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer and um, any eyeshadow primer would work, I suppose. But I want a thin one that's not super creamy. A lot of the times um, people like to use MAC Paint Pots, but since I am gonna be going in with the cream shadow, I don't want to put a cream shadow on top of a cream shadow and I guess technically that cream shadow would work okay as a primer itself this is like an unnecessary step but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all right so I'm gonna hop in now and do my eyebrows um, I'm just gonna kind of comb them around so that I can manage them a little bit better a lot of people and I feel like I have to mention this in every video because I've gotten comments like not recently but a long time ago when I did videos like um, people wanting to know why I comb my eyebrows down um, and that's because that's how my eyebrows naturally grow in if I were to comb them up I would have like a huge amount of space here and then they would have a, they already have a pretty decent arch even with me combing them down so when I comb them up that arch is even more crazy and I kind of look like a Disney villain so um, I just kind of comb them down <laughs> um, because they're better with that shape. So I comb them down that way, but they grow up at the front and then about right here is when these hairs start to come down. So I'm going to use this, which is my Dip Brow by Anastat. 
Anastasia? Anastasia? I don't know. So my name is Anastasia Suare. I'm the creator of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know. I can never pronounce anything. I feel like when I was younger and I would hear people pronounce things, I would sit back and be like, oh, they're such idiots. And literally I'm the old person now that cannot pronounce anything properly. All right, so I'm gonna, I always go in the lid with it and take off the excess. And then I like to squeeze so that it comes to a finer thing. And then I go in, and I don't know that you're gonna be able to see this, but I just kind of go in and I draw my hair like strokes here so it looks more natural. I don't always use the dipped brow, but when I do, it takes forever. <laughs> and then also my fingers get super messy from doing this, doing it this way as well. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the brow gel. I guess technically you don't need the brow gel after doing that, um, but I like to use it just to make sure everything stays in place. All right, so I think that's as good as it's gonna get. You can kind of see around the eyebrow area where some of the foundation has come off from the brow gel, so I will have to go in and kind of touch that up, I think, when I'm all done with the look. But for now, I'm not really gonna worry about it. So I wanna start out using this with my fingers and see where that gets me. Um, the idea, what I wanna do is start with this and then build off of, of it with like some other purple shadows that I have, but this is a really bright sort of purple creamy shadow. I know that you can also recreate a um, similar look with, um, what is the brand that just came out with it? Nude Sticks. Nude Sticks just came out with a collection that has a color that looks just like this in it. Um, but this is cheaper than Nude Sticks, so if you're a member, um, you can go ahead and try it out. So I'm just gonna like scribble this in and then diffuse it out with my finger. It's actually really easy to work with. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then I'll be right back. So I'm also gonna take it under. All right, so I think that adding it under the eye and not keeping it top heavy um, made me look more like something from the world of Tim Burton. So I'm definitely gonna have to bronze up the face and add color into the rest of the face right now. And then I'll pop back into the eye and add more shape into the eye, I think. So this is also from Beauty Pie and this is the Quick Color Contour. And this is an O2, which I find to be a little bit darker and warmer. And then this is an O1. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go with O1 today. There's still some on there. So I'm just gonna kinda contour the face. Looking good. Looking good, Billy Ray! Feeling good, Lewis! Get some on the nose. Here's the thing is, I don't really feel the need to contour my nose, but I find that if I don't put the color on it and there's only color here, it looks weird. So I'm not doing it to really shape my nose. So you can kind of see that I just kind of like dotted it there. I'm really doing it just for the color. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and then bringing it up onto the cheeks. There we go. I'm gonna bring it in the, to the temples and get rid of that. And then also I've noticed I usually do the contour there and then I bring it down onto my chin. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but again, when people contour here or around the face, they never really add it to their chin. So then they have the stark white chin and then like a tan face and it looks kind of crazy. Um, I don't know, I just kind of like the face to look balanced. So I'm gonna pull out this Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. I bought it and then never really used any of the colors and clearly I wanna go in after this one that I think would layer up really well with what I already have on my eyes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this Dirty Mac 217. I tried to get most of the pigment that was on it off onto a tissue and I'm gonna go into the shade Xena, which is that bright purple that I showed you and I'm just gonna kind of move it into the outer area um, right there and then kind of blend. So it looks bright like the pencil, but it really, these Natasha Denona um, eyeshadows really deepen once they're on the eye. I'm gonna go into this 
Mario Palette Master by Mario. And I'm gonna go in to the white and then mix it with that purple and then kind of go across the lid to the inner corner. And then this Red Blonde Palette, I actually, you'll see a haul of all the stuff I recently got at the drugstores. Um, if you saw that video I did a while back of me doing the whole going to the drugstore vlog thing and then coming back and like doing my makeup. I actually filmed several of the vlog portions of those and then bought stuff. And then when I came home, I had planned on filming like the get ready with me's and then there's always people in my house and I feel weird filming with people in my house. So then I never filmed um, the get ready with me's like on those days. So I ended up just getting rid of those videos eventually. But now I have like this huge case of makeup that I showed you in the beginning um, that I bought just for videos. So what a waste. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with this last shade right here. And it's like a really cool duochrome. And it's got like a little bit of pink and green, um, maybe a little bit of purple in it, but it's just a really cool shade. And I'm gonna move that right here. And this was going to be kind of a matte look, um, but then I changed my mind. Okay, and then I am going to just dust off the excess where it's not like super noticeable that I put a duochrome on there, but it's still there and it gives a little bit of dimension to the eye. So I don't know if like you can see. And then now I want to clean up the eye area with a little bit of concealer. I'm going to go in with this NARS and this is in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to kind of go in right here um, because those shades that I put right there and putting that purple under my eye makes me look a little sickly. So I do want to clean it up a little bit. All right, so now we're going to go in with the eyeliner and I want to do a fun, I was gonna do black and I'm like, no, I'm gonna do something fun. So I'm gonna use this Lancome uh, waterproof eyeliner in the shade Azure. Um, and it is a greenish blue shade right there. I think that would look fun. Um, so I'm gonna pull this mirror here closer. Hopefully you can still see what I have going on here. And I'll just kind of talk through it. So. I don't like a big thick liner. This may end up being a big thick liner because normally I go in with a liquid liner to do what I'm about to do. So I don't know, see how like, it's not really a good tip for it. If, if I could, I could sharp, I would sharpen it, but there's nothing on here that allows that. So let's just hop in here and start off at the base of the lashes and kind of just dot it in. Okay, and then when I get towards the end here, I don't bring it all the way down because I'm aging. If I bring it all the way down, it drags my eye down. Also, I am gonna wing it out a little bit and I don't know if you notice, but right here, if I were to bring it down and then wing it out, I would have to go around this crease I have because my eye from like drooping is beginning to um, become hooded. So what I like to do is bring it to about here and then kind of make a straight line. Out. There we go. Then I'm gonna try to replicate it on the other eye. All right, so I want to add a little bit of depth and soften the line. And I'm gonna go in with the shade from this Pure Raw Beauty Christie palette and it's called Hurtful, and I think I'm gonna mix it in with Garden State as well to bring in a little bit of the green. Okay, that looks a little bit better on the right side to me. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left. And then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then we'll go in with some mascara. All right, so part of my birthday gift from Ulta today was I got this little Lancome thing and it comes with this Lancome mascara and this little um, perfume sample. So let's go ahead and try out the mascara and see if it's any good. So this could ruin my look, but we'll see. I actually like 
these types of brushes, so I have high hopes. Let me zoom you in so you can see it work. So, and also I do have pretty good lashes. Um, my face looks so <laughs> weird right now because I haven't powdered or anything, but I do have pretty good lashes. Um, I don't know if you can see from the side there. So usually if my lashes don't look good with the mascara, it literally, it's just not a good mascara. So let's just go ahead. So actually I am liking this so far. I would normally for this particular look go in for a more dramatic mascara, but for my everyday makeup that I normally do, this would be a go-to mascara for me because it's so separating and not clumpy. Like, I don't know if you see how it just lays mascara on every single lash and it doesn't clump them together. Yeah, if you cannot stand mascaras that clump together, this is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, build it as much as I can, and then we'll see what I come up with and then I'll be back. Okay, so I can tell you right now that I love the mascara and when I'm done using this sample, I think this is gonna be my new go-to mascara because I can get really subtle lashes from it that for everyday wear, or I can keep building like I did this, this way and I did three coats of mascara and then this is what I got from it. I keep looking at myself in the monitor, um, just looking at my face, and I love the mascara. Let me zoom you in. Like, look at my lashes. Don't they look good? They look really good. Okay, so let's do the rest of my face. Um, I have this from Josie Marin, which I think is discontinued at this point. I don't know, is this still a thing? Let me look it up. Um, can you still buy this online? I feel like here's the thing about being on YouTube and something that I struggle with, um, which I don't post videos a lot, I'm trying, but I struggle because I find that like sometimes I want to use stuff that I already have in my collection in the videos and not go out and buy new stuff because I feel like it's just crazy just to go out and buy new stuff for videos. I feel like at the end of the day, these are all just powders and creams and you can still achieve certain looks with like the same stuff. But my thing is, if you are looking for a particular product and then it's discontinued, like that's super frustrating. So you can get it on Zulily, Zulily for $38.99. If I find it other places, I will link it below but I guess I don't feel super bad about using it. So um, this is really cool because it comes with, I like to contour with that sometimes. And then um, I use these two blushy shades to brighten. And then this sort of goldy highlighter, I then go all over and it just gives me like the most luscious cheek. I'll show you. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking about it and not doing it. So I'm gonna go in with the contoury one even though I kind of already contoured, but I'm just gonna place it here on the back of my check, check cheek. And I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender that I used before. Yeah. I love using creams for spring. The problem is the whole mask wearing situation that we all find ourselves in right now. And then they kind of stick. So I'll show you what I use after I apply all the creams to my face to remedy that. So I, you know, I'll tell you now, like I usually layer it up with, um, I'm going in with this now. I usually layer it up with a powder over it, um, like a powder blush. So I'll do like two, or I will go in with the translucent powder over the creams to kind of help mattify it and make it less sticky on my face. Look how glowy my cheek is. Then going in with the bright pink, but not as much of it. And then just kind of putting it right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the golden one. You can see there. And then, and I bring it to about here and like up and around. So I go up here and then like that. 
All right, so I don't even know if this is gonna look good with it, but I felt like I should bring a little bit of orange into the look. So I'm gonna use this cloud paint in the shade Beam. And um, I'm gonna actually put that on the cheek as well. And then just kind of play around. I like mixing um, oranges and pinks together. Um, I kind of talked about it on in my favorites with the Dior blushes but I feel like mixing them together adds more life to the skin. Instead of buying like just a singular shade that is like a mix of orange and pink, I feel like if you mix it yourself, it looks so much better. Actually, before I powder, I think I just wanna spray the whole face and make it a little extra dewy before I powder. And I never think to do it before I put my mascara on. Let me just kind of, okay, I don't think it bothered it too much. I feel like my mascara doesn't look as like up if I like spray my face and I always forget. All right, so my favorite powder to go in the areas like this and under my eyes to kind of just make sure my face glides really well is this Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. So I'm just gonna go under my eyes with this. And then down around my nose. I'll go ahead and do the chin right here. I get like weirdly shiny right in there. Go there. This doesn't completely mattify, but it does take back. Let me, you can kind of see some of the shine, it kind of just dulls the shine. There we go. But I want to keep the shine on the cheeks. I'm going to go in with this brush right here and kind of go all over the face lightly. And I think I want to use this brush also I'm like looking at my skin. Oh my gosh, my hair is like all the way up there. I <laughs> am looking at my skin and I do think that I want to bronze it a little bit more. So one of my monthly favorites that I talked about is this. So it doesn't add like a really heavy, like dark bronzer. It just adds a nice glow with a, a little bit of a tint to the face. So same brush, I'm just gonna go in. The lip liner I wanna use today is from Thrive and it's in the shade Khaki. And I wonder, um, there's a YouTube channel called Khaki Loves Beauty, I think is the name. And she talks about Thrive Cosmetics a lot. I wonder if this is like a collaboration with them or something. I have no idea. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. Okay, and that is super dark and this is a spring makeup look. So I'm gonna diffuse it with my finger. I have like foundation still right there, okay. And then I'm gonna go in with this and this is a DC Cosmetics and it's in the shade Lemonade. I think it's DC. I feel like this is also a YouTuber brand. It's hard to keep up now. I feel like every brand, yeah, it's Dominique Cosmetics. I feel like every makeup brand now is somehow a YouTuber brand. Okay, and that's still like a little extra glossy, not too much for me. So I'm gonna take this tissue. All right, so this is a completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.